So how do you learn language through video game? Oh, it's quite easy. Cause uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my English. Uh, I'm gonna introduce myself a little bit, just in case if you're wondering why am I qualified enough to tell you how to learn uh, any language through playing video games or just doing something that you love in general to learn that language that you want to learn. It's quite easy. You see, like you have to be very, very dedicated first. Dedicate with what? Not language itself, but the culture. You have to be dedicated with the culture and the language itself. Of course, that's a plus. And also, try to pick something that you love to do first, and not just having that kind of mess. Uh, not just having the kind of mess of like, oh, I'm gonna be the greatest uh, speaker, or I'm gonna be, you know, be this language in fucking, you know, three or or four months, or just couple of years or two years or even one year that's not likely gonna happen and uh, i'm trying to tell you why because uh, you see learning something takes a lot but a lot of people think the learning something learning language in general is more difficult because you have to do a lot of you know reading textbook and memorizing vocabularies for your target language so a lot of people think oh my god so stressful i'm not gonna do it which is uh i uh, you know understandable i was there before i've been through all of that but uh you know see uh, my english is not my first language and uh, i come from china i still live in china i never been to other country before so uh and i've been learning english for like two years even just two years i mean i feel i myself feel very uh proud proud of myself i'm very very proud of myself even though i still make a lot of mistakes in english i mean huge amount of mistakes and the terrible accent horrible pronunciation but i still very uh, proud of myself because uh, when i compare myself to other like big people like smart people genius uh in the you know universities or school they always they don't seem like they don't really have that kind of you know ability to speak uh, as well as I do because uh, you know in China they teach you English like that the way they do in in your country they teach you the Spanish to everyone like alphabet stuff like that from the basic but after that people kind of just drop it because um, like first of all you don't have to even use you, you don't have to speak English in here it's not very necessary just like uh, you know in your country uh, Spanish is not very uh needed and uh, that's same hit for here and uh i've been trying to learn english for like uh since i was like a 14 right but a lot of people oh you have so many years like since you were 14 like you were 14 and then now you're like yeah i'm 22 right now so they think oh I, you have a lot of years to 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 do to prepare and to learn i mean that's kind of wrong like in the beginning of a couple of years i i'm not actually doing anything like super beneficial or su super like efficient to help me to learn english the, all the things i i was doing back in the day was like uh, just you know watching some movies american movies of course like chinese movies they're horrible man and uh, playing some games that wasn't really the case for me to learn anything in that kind of scenario because uh, i was just trying to have fun you know just like everyone else but on the only difference like uh, people around me like the friends and the family, they didn't know what I was doing. They only knew that I was playing some kind of like a you know video game, or like watching some movie. But they didn't really know like what is really going on. Uh, at that time, it really just brought me a lot of like uh, uh, interest and uh, you know my personal favors. I think is how you use that word. I don't know. I'm, I'm just complete. I'm completely like you know bullshitting right now. So uh, forgive me if you really try you know come to here try to learn something from me. Uh, you you can probably learn you can probably learn something you know from my horrible English. You can probably get some uh, very useful uh, information about how to learn the language that you want to learn. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just get it to the uh, the the mean. I'm just getting get into the you know. The content right uh, right now okay the only thing you need to do in order to be good at your language is you have to spend a lot of time but you don't have to really read anything and uh, to you know to memorize any vocabularies that's just not very necessary and i highly highly don't recommend any of you doing that is you know as your daily routine to learn for example japanese or turkish or chinese or something super unnecessary and uh, it's gonna kill your soul if you do that don't do that all right don't fucking do that that's like a fucking that's like a shameful thing for your brain to do like your brain understands that you don't like it because you don't like it all right just be honest 
with yourself. Nobody fucking likes, you know, reading all that kind of textbook. How to learn this grammar? How to memorize that word in fucking thirty days? Fucking bullshit. One thing you have to do, you gotta fucking focus. All right, you focus, focus on the thing that you think is really important. Let me tell you what is that. Comprehensible input. I think a lot of you pretty, you know, heard that before. Yes, that's the real way to do it. Try to find something that you actually enjoy. So in the beginning, you probably something, you know, probably everything in that language is, you know, uncomprehensible for you. Don't worry. You have sub, you know, you have subtitle, baby. You can have subtitle in the English in the in the toddler language that you are learning. So it doesn't have to be something like super fancy, you know. You don't have to do that at all, because the only thing you have to do is to be honest, like try to find something that you enjoy, like even if like the thing is, you know, uncomprehensible for you. Uh, just enjoy the thing first, all right. Let your brain to consume the things, all right, and then. Uh, just just enjoy the content, you know, for a while, and then uh, you try to pick up something like a, you know meaningful and uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, sorry guys, it's my first time doing some kind of like a random content. I I'm I'm not preparing any like a script or I don't read any script right now. I'm just kind of like a freestyle. So uh, the second thing you need is comprehensible input, of course. Once you have the basic understanding of the language, then you can do the your you know you can do your comprehensible input. Because I've been doing that for like two years, and it was super super uh, efficient. And because uh, uh, you know all this process brought me today, all this process that made me the way I speak English today is you know through comprehensible input. That's pretty much all the thing I've done. I know I'm not perfect in English, and I'm still, you know, keeping myself and pushing myself to learn more and to speak more and to listen more. A lot of you think listening or like speaking. A lot of you think speaking is like crucially important. Uh, no, it's actually not that important at all. Uh, when it comes to speaking, the only thing you need is to be good at your confidence. You know, you gotta be very confident with your English. You, know, you gotta be, you gotta be confident with your you know language, you gotta be comfortable, and you have to be great. You have to be brave enough to speak, just like me. The, you know I'm trying to do the same thing right now because I you know I'm also in the journey. I I I I'm also like in the I'm halfway in this process, and I'm still pushing myself pushing myself to do something like this. For example, doing the YouTube video like this. If like I know. The chance that I'm gonna be seeing, like my video gonna be seen, is quite small. But still, you know, I test myself and I try to say, okay, let's just do a YouTube video to see, you know, what kind of stuff I can do in order to be good at English in a next level, you know, in the next level, which is crazily good. You know, my goal is to be speaking like a native speakers. You know, that's what I want to do. I want to do something like that. And、uh, you gotta be confident and you gotta be dedicated. And the final thing is you have to be consistent. Consistency is pretty much everything. Like you gotta do the easy things every day to be, you know, make them as your hobby. And、uh, for me, you know, <laughs> of course, you know, I'm a lazy person. So my daily routine was just like playing a bunch of different like games from other studios, from other countries, and then I, you know, switch their setting, you know, from,、uh, you know, from my Chinese, from my na native language, into. English, which helped me a lot, cause uh, uh you know uh, I've been trying, cause、uh, I've been using Chinese subtitle and Chinese setting and Chinese language to play anything like、uh, to to watch a movie, like there was like a Chinese subtitle and the English subtitle. Most most of the time, you know, in in the early my age, I didn't know English at all, so I was just trying to focus on the Chinese subtitle. But after a while, that was like a long process, like like、uh, five or four years. And you know, after that, I was kind of like, I kind of have like a grasp of, of like a, what are they really talking about. You know, I kind of have like a decent understanding without the subtitle. And after that, I kind of like, okay, let's just shut down all the Chinese subtitle and do that. Every everyone has their own preference. Everyone has like their own unique lifestyle and their own personality. So you cannot easily replicate、uh, other people's idea. Uh, I'm just, the whole reason I'm trying to tell you is,、uh, right now is like, yeah, comprehensible is very, you know, advanced and、uh, super efficient. But still, because、uh, uh, I'm a teacher myself, I try to teach other people 
to use comprehensible input, help them to learn and do to acquire you know uh, uh, many different languages. Uh, it seems like uh, yeah, it works, but it doesn't really work that fantastic. You know, they're not working that well. So I was pretty shocked because I thought that if I can learn English, like a super super dumb people like me can learn English through like only two years, and in a very enjoyable and easy way. I'm not even trying that hard, you know, in these two years, and I think people can do that too. You know, especially there's a lot of people who are way smarter than me, and they can do way more than me. So I think that's the thing that they can, you know,、uh, I can benefit a lot of people. And turned out it didn't, it didn't really work out pretty well. So in, you know, after that, you know, after I experienced so much more like、uh, different with different students, I tried to different, you know, experiment with、uh, different stu students with, you know, depends on their personality, depends on how they approach certain things. It really just didn't go very well. It's not like it didn't work out at all, but it worked. But it wasn't very obvious, as like obvious as me, because、uh, you know a lot of people they still don't really believe, and、uh, they still think、uh, you gotta do some certain of like a grammar game and、uh, memorizing you know words in order to be good. I try to convince them that, but they don't listen. So I was I was like, you just I'm、right, just gonna give up, right? If you really don't think that's gonna work out, I. I can only get you so far, you know. So if any of you listening right now, if there's any like a living human being that's listening right now, first of all, I appreciate you. All right, please subscribe. I mean, I'm not asking too much.、Uh, you don't, you don't have to do that, but just please don't dislike the video. All right, that's the best thing you can do. Yeah, and also,、uh, I'm trying to tell you something like comprehensible input is very important, but practicing is also very important. You gotta do both in order to be good, and also you have to be. You have to have like a passion, you know. You have to do. You have to really, really enjoy the process. Otherwise, you're not gonna succeed. That that applies to pretty much everything in life, you know. So、uh, I'm not gonna say, yeah, if you do this, you're gonna learn, you know, through this. You, if you play video game, if you can watch movie, and you can do this, you can, you know, achieve something like that. No, that's not gonna happen. All right, that's not that just that's not gonna happen. That that will happen. If you are really passionate about, so right now, if you're still watching this video or listening, you know my talking, try to ask yourself: Are you really passionate about the language, and why do you want to learn that language in the first place? I ask myself every every time,、uh, you know, pretty much every day. Not every day, it was tired, but like I ask myself once, like, why do I learn English? The answer was kind of honest. That was really what I wanted. You learn know, back in the day, and that still is the thing I'm doing right now. Is I love talking to myself. You see, I I was super introvert, uh, sort of the high school, you know, school times, and now I'm still introvert. I got no friends, so the only reason why I love English, first of all, I enjoy the language itself. You know, because I lo- watch a lot of you know American movies back in the young days. So for me, English was kind of like a, you know. A virtue, like it, it wasn't like a, it was like a fantasy world for me, you know. So I feel like if I speak English, I feel kind of relief, you know, because I'm pretty fluent in Chinese. But when I speak English, I feel like I, I mean like another place, you know, out of my reality, because、uh, you know reality is not very satisfying all the time. So when I do English, when I speak English, when I listen to English, because you know American for me is far away. For you guys, part that's like the pre, you know, that that's like the reality for you. You don't really give a shit about English that much. Just like I don't really give a shit about my my, you know, native, you know, Mandarin that much. But I love English.、Uh, I honestly do love English. When I speak English, I feel like I'm trying to, you know, get into this like a very fantasy, you know, my own fantasy world where I I'm completely free. I don't have to worry about anything. I I don't have to worry about my bill. I don't have to worry about my job. I don't have to worry about my my friends, my parents. Only me with this、uh, world where only good things happening. You know, that's the whole reason why I do.、Uh, I I love English and、uh, I talk I talk to myself a lot. That's also a reason. And、uh, a lot of you probably don't do that. A lot of you probably do that. But why? Talk to myself. I talk to myself a lot, just like the thing I'm doing right now, just staring at my screen and、uh, trying to record myself. 
the only difference like I'm recording right now you know but I've been doing this for like uh, for as you know as long as I can remember you know so there's a lot of time where I just talk to myself because you know humans in general even if I'm super introvert I don't need socialize at all but I don't want to admit that but I do I need the social stuff but I couldn't right because uh, I'm too uh, afraid to go out <clears throat> or even talking to people online in general I don't do that so I developed this kind of skill or not skill or like a habit where I need to talk to myself I love talking to myself every day out loud you know talking to the wall talking to the mirror talking to the air you know while I'm in the room with myself so that's the fundamental like that's pretty much like the whole reason why I love learning and I want to be good at English because I want to be able to express more with myself I treat myself as a friend so when I have a friend I want to be able to talk to my friend to tell my friend what I really think right so that's the whole reason when I tell my when I ask myself why do you want to learn English that is why so for me there is an answer and there is a motivation and there is a passion and with a comprehensible input this method it's not actually that hard it's not actually very you know miserable and serviceable when you try to you know learn any language so I hope you guys you know learn something from this video I hope you guys you know, really get something from the video because uh, this video is a little bit short uh, I'm probably gonna make another one in the future uh, trying to really you know uh, organize my 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 you know session from session in the video because right now I'm just trying to you know uh, do something you know trying to tell people and uh, how to learn uh, any language through your passion and to your consistent and uh, your your dedication I think I repeat myself a little bit too much but yeah that's essentially how yes there's no shortcut remember there's no shortcut even with comprehensible input yeah comprehensible is the right way to do it but you still have to do it you know you know the you know the job is not gonna do it yourself you know you, you have to do it and it's not even that hard you just have to keep going and I believe that some of you guys you know and if you think oh learning English in two years and I can be able to speak like this it's quite amazing from zero one right yeah I was zero one when I was starting le learning English so during that time I was only knowing like ABCD and how are you like pr pretty basic like the same thing that you know for Spanish super basic and after that I kind of ran off like ran off so hard and uh, I hope this video can really motivate some of you guys to keep going and uh, just never giving up on trying different methods and trying something new every time to going out of your comfort zone is super important I know I've been speaking a little bit too much so I'm not gonna waste any of you guys any time and if you guys like it I mean you know subscribe as always I'm tired of saying that but <laughs> they say yeah you gotta say yeah to you know to make people subscribe your content I don't really give shit that much anymore like if you subscribe that's great I really appreciate you I appreciate you I'm, I'm, I was joking I'm not giving I just I don't give a shit about saying that word anymore you know just it doesn't really matter for me anymore but yeah but if you guys like a video and I hope you guys you know I hope you I share something very valuable for you I don't think I share anything valuable yeah I'm gonna be shut up yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and uh, see you guys in the next video and uh, hope you have all a wonderful day and um, yeah <laughs>